Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris. We are playing as the Spiral Mandate in the Leviathan Story Pack DLC and the Heinlein Patch. And in the last episode, we broke the Othethi Shard even further. Now we've got the Blessed Othethi Order and the Union of Kimathar. They are both our vassals now. And it is a wonderful, wonderful thing. All that is left is one single world of the Othethis, Sosta 1, which isn't even all that good of a world for them. But hey, I am just happy to have uh, crushed them. Now, actually, this is kind of a nice thing that they get this spawn, um, and that is what it was. It just spawned. It just appeared a 26k fleet. Um, but the reason why it's nice is that because this does protect them from, say, opportunistic... Uh, sovereign Imithar and planet assholes, you know? Uh, who are completely pathetic compared to us. Um. We've got a defensive pact with the centralized Wakegi systems. But, uh, we're gonna have to face them eventually. We'll have to fight them eventually. Um. But, that might wait until we've, uh, torn up the Great Sidamatus Hive some more. Uh, I could also go and attack the uh, Democratic Norilga clans again. No, I can't. Um, four years. So that's out. Never mind. Disregard what I just said. <laughs> Alright, Crossbone Vanguard has been repaired. Let's go ahead and merge them together. I will eventually split up the Crossbone Vanguard into multiple fleets when I actually kind of need to... You know, like, I mean, these guys just didn't have an, didn't have many worlds, but uh, probably when next time we go against the Democratic Noroga clans, I'll split it. I'll send one down here to take care of these guys while the other one goes up here. And, um, you know, once... You know, they've, they've got a lot more worlds up here than uh, the Othethi did, so... But I will probably keep the fleet together when it comes time to attack or fight these guys. I don't know if we'll be attacking them, but we will definitely be fighting them. I think that's, uh, there's no doubt of that. Also, I did just remember, uh, I need to... I may... Uh, should I wait? No, let's just demolish it right now. Go ahead and build that. Move it down there. Um, Alright, so we'll, we'll get the adjacency there, which... means I should build the Frontier Clinic there. Put you up there. Here, we'll get the Monument of Purity. Where are we getting Ethics Divergence? Um... Might be a good idea to build the symbol of unity for now, as well. Just to ensure that that is, uh, better. And yeah, they're gonna be starving for a little bit, but... They'll be okay. Although, that pop is... Gonna stop growing. <laughs> it's fine. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. And they did just get a uh, an orbital hydroponics farm, so... They should actually start growing again. Well, okay, so that pop die, did die, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Nope, get back up there. Don't be growing somewhere else. 1.0 per month. Once this is done... There we go. Now we're at 3. Okay, you are done. Um, I'll just send you home. This is a pretty nice tomb world. Uh, get decent adjacency on those, and then plenty of space for, uh, for food. That's not bad. 
Uh, we have positive energy, so I could do some terraforming. Let's go ahead and start on that one. I believe this one is already underway. Yep. Hawksworth is starving now. Why? Did someone just move away who, uh... Oh, nope. I did some uh, building replacements. Alright, let's move you there, since you're being picky about terror bombing. <sighs> Once that's fully upgraded, that should be okay. Oh, but that's going to take a while. But it's just a happiness thing. It's fully grown. The pot, the the planet's fully grown, so it's not like Research pops are going to disappear. Construction complete. Uh, Acrisia finished surface construction. Excellent. We got the planetary administration. Go ahead and upgrade all the food. And we've got plasteel materials. All right. Explosive weapon attack speed plus five percent. Or I'll just focus on getting some of these other techs that don't really matter much. Uh, actually, I could probably improve some of our ship designs. I do not have any better torpedoes. I will have to work on that. Okay. Uh, I do have better uh, point defense. I do have the Guardian point defense. and do that. Alright, I have side jump drives now. I forgot that. Uh, side jump drives have 50% greater jump drive range. Okay, now that I have uh, Gauss Cannons and uh, Kinetic Batteries and Stormfire Auto Cannons, it might be a good idea to compare those. Ignores 30% of armor and 33% extra shield damage. It is pretty nice on those. Let's see, the range on that is 100. It's 85, 60. That's 65. That's 85. Uh, let's go for the kinetic batteries here. Ten percent of armor, fifteen percent of armor, and thirty-three percent of shields. Um, it's definitely much better damage than the uh, plasma throwers that I'm using. Yeah, we'll go with the uh, Gauss Cannons. Alright, low on power, though. Um, and swap out... Actually... Better yet... Yeah, place it with armor. Not quite as good shields, but uh, a little bit of extra armor. So that should be nice. can't believe that I actually forgot about all of this. Uh, colony ship doesn't really need anything else. Okay, defense platforms. Uh, what's on these... The uh, smallest ones, not really that big of a deal. Um, so I'm going to leave them as is. They'll get auto-upgraded with uh, better stuff as it, as we research it. Um, but the kinetic artillery, I'm fine with that on these. And on this definitely need to uh, swap out the Guardian point defense. Let's get that. 
Um, still only have blue lasers. Let's see, medium wise, seven eight five, seven twenty. I think I want the longer range on these. Well, actually, longer range doesn't really matter, but I do think that the uh, got. Well, let's see. A little bit of extra damage on the uh, Stormfighter auto cannons. They fire faster. Better accuracy. We'll definitely have these on the small slots. I think I'll have a mix on the medium slots. Okay, so again, uh, we're a little bit low on power. Could I could swap out for a weaker shield. Yeah, we'll just swap out for a weaker shield. That's okay. Okay. There we go. Uh, we will want to upgrade. Everything upgraded, and up here, I want to upgrade all of these. Oh, I didn't do any, anything with that. Ships oh yeah, 2.3k. That's a nice boost there. Totally missed what just uh, upgraded, actually. Ships upgraded. Oh, there we go. Aren't you supposed to be, uh... You're supposed to be over here at Aurora, assisting research. Oh, do you actually move over there? Maybe that's what happened. Okay, that's fine. Alright, you've got, uh... Yeah, you're upgrading already. Excellent. Okay. Research complete. Selected lineages, just get that. Uh, capacity boosters. It's... Well, actually I should get these, since I don't have them yet. It's only 29 months for that. 34 months remain on the Norilga integration. How is Garden doing? Let's go ahead and queue up those upgrades. Uh, Food-wise, they've got 24 food. I can get rid of both of these. Uh, I will replace this with power. And it's getting enough power, so let's replace this with a basic science lab. There we go. Uh, because once that... Once that's all done, um, I'm going to want to get these two systems, uh, at least this one, into the sector if I can, and... All you bastards. They expanded their borders slightly. I'm gonna have I I'm gonna have to hope that I get a uh, border increasing uh, tech then if I want that world. I guess I should have gone for it. Yes, I, I should have gone for it. Hmm. There's an ocean world there that would be nice to get. 
mean, at least we got this one colonized. So that helps. Alright, capped out on minerals again. Getting this one colonized would uh, also help. Maybe they colonize right here. I don't know. What are you? Your desert preference. Yep. Yep, they must have colonized right there because that's a tundra world. They did indeed. Okay. Hmm. Very disappointing. At least that is inside the protectorate space. Well, I don't think these guys would uh, actually colonize a um, a tomb world anyway. Still, it's very annoying. Okay. Uh, let's move you up there. I'll let you grow into that. Let's get some food here. Right. Capped out of minerals. Um, Alright. Zero Corp. I want some energy credits. There we go. And with that, let's double check. Uh, I am terraforming these, right? Yep. Okay, now there are some worlds here that I can terraform. There we go. There we go. Get myself positive on... Construction complete. Or, not positive, I was always positive. Just blow some energy, some minerals. Okay. Well, and we can blow some more. Solar panel network, observatory, and synchronized defenses. Solar panel network, observatory, and synchronized defenses. Excellent. You still starving? You are still starving. And it's going to be a little bit before uh, the hydroponics farm gets upgraded. And it is election season! Okay. Um, let's see. Anyone jumping out at me as a better choice? Not really. I mean... There are some, but I can go for this uh, this person with energy credits plus 10%. Constructor build cost, mining station build cost, that's pointless at this point. Minerals plus 10% isn't bad. Uh, recruiter. And Battleship Focus. The Battleship Focus isn't bad, but I don't think it matters that much right now. Yeah, I'll just uh, stick with our, our current person. We'll go with the 10% food bonus. Ships upgraded. Okay. Research complete. Also got some research. Rail guns. Uh, Devastator torpedoes and quantum missiles are both better than what we have, so let's go for those. Go for the uh, quantum torpedoes, or the quantum missiles first. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. I could actually have quite a bit more on our fleet capacity, so let's build a few battleships. Am I terraforming you? I am terraforming you. Good. Situation log updated. Okay. As I expected, re-elected the same person, which is fine. 
Alright, let's go ahead and queue up those upgrades. Now, unfortunately, happiness is only 43% for these people. Um, yeah, for the individualists, at least. The xenophobes, the xenophobes, they don't have a problem. Happiness is actually pretty good for them. Boy, I hope I get the, I get the orbital mind control lasers at some point. It might be a primarily uh, um, materialist tech, though, which is one thing that I'm a little bit worried about. It would kind of suck. Well, more than kind of. <laughs> you can still get them, you just have a very low chance, and I suppose I could go look to see what the uh, uh, requirements would be. Okay, I can get a... Power hub here. Let's get some more power as well. Actually, I need the uh, symbol of unity to get some happiness. Now wait until the next pop grows. Over here. Some more power. I'll take some minerals down here. There's actually enough mineral tiles, so we'll uh, go with that. More power. Nice big amount of minerals up there. Three. That's pretty nice. Definitely go for that. And while you're growing... We'll build that. Alright. Construction complete. Okay, move you there. Leave you there as well. Okay, we've got a quite a bit better uh, ethics divergence now, but... Is that actually because this is... That's there? No, it is not. I guess it's just happiness? That works for me. All right. Uh, what is the food production? Seven? That's pretty good. We may still need to build more. But we do have some good tiles for it, so that's not too bad. Do I want to build anything else? No, I want to wait until this pop grows. All right, Hawksworth, how are you doing? Still a little bit, wait, a little time before that gets upgraded. All right. Well, you know, I mean, what's a little starvation, really? It's not a big deal. You want to let these uh, get replaced, and then I can put the system into the sector. Then I don't have to worry about those guys at all. How are we doing on our nine months for our integration? Okay. Governor is leveled up. I'm gonna have to do something about these. Well, I'll, I'll have to put a uh, put this one into a sector right away. I don't have any real choice in the matter. I'm really pissed off that they stole this world from me. Research complete. I hope they don't go colonize that world. Alright, amoeba, amoeba breeding programs. A hey, core se sector systems plus one. Let's get that. Much more important. Construction complete. Okay, we finished building our battleships. I could still afford to have a few more in our uh, fleet. So we'll go ahead and blow some more minerals. How many uh, frontier outposts do I have right now? Just two? Okay. <clears throat> I'm good with that. I'm good with just having the two. 
Research complete. Okay, dark matter drawing. Did we pick up any? Does not look like we did. Okay. This exotic substance has many properties that seemingly defy the laws of physics. Harvestable concentrations can only be found near black holes or in certain nebulas. Ah, phase disruptors. Plasma accelerators. Well, plasma accelerators... Are, well, interlinked support systems are the cheapest, so I'll get that first. Okay, so Gaping Maw did not have uh, dark matter. Um... Belvera's Maelstrom does not. I don't think I have any other uh, black holes. Uh, the Varrakis bla black hole doesn't, oddly enough. Nothing up here. That Singularity doesn't have any. Neither does that one. Wow, there may be a, a dearth of... Uh, dark matter in the system. Lorg's Bane, Bane has none. I would have expected the ones with uh, physics research to have uh, dark matter in them, but it doesn't look like they do. Wow, that one does. That one has nine. It's pretty impressive. But it does not either. Um, huh. Oh, Howling Vortex does. Okay. It's the ones with the five uh, physics research that have them. Is that going to be the only dark matter? That is pretty crazy if so. Nope, nope, Quiet Dark has some. Okay. And, oh, these guys have two. Okay, do you have anything? Uh... Oh, you have a different race as your leader right now. Okay, offer trade deal. You don't have the tech for it. Do I have Granthium ore? I do have Granthium ore. Okay. Do they want Angos Vapor? They do. Alright, well, when, uh, when they get the tech for it, then maybe we'll be able to trade for it. Since he does have the two. Oh, there's one up here in, in Ascension's End. And the Zepok Vortex. Okay, well. Offer trade deal. Do you have Dark Matter? Nope. You don't have the tech for it either. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, alright. We can finally upgrade the uh, reassembled ship shelter on Tronchet. I think I will move you down here. And build the basic science lab. And I'll probably work on these two next. I'm gonna upgrade that. Alright, Hawksworth. Uh, okay, you're finally building up the uh, hydroponics farm here. I lost a uh, guy here. Probably moved to uh, Acrisia. And do the upgrades. And we did just get the uh, Norilga Interplanetary whatever they were. I've got a spare construction ship. Warp 1. Wow. I can't act... So, this is a bug that is fairly new. Uh... You can't disband these uh, ships that you pick up. I can't disband them. I'm 
not currently at war with anyone. Is there... I don't think there are going to be any hostile things. Alright, well, we'll get them up there. Next time I go to war against the Othethi Shard, I'll just send them in to get blown up, because I don't really care about them. Uh, you guys can get upgraded. And let's take a look at what we have on these worlds. Um, Pop-wise, they, ha they do have some who are spiritualists and xenophobes. They also have some individualists. They're all conformists, but uh, we will be murdering them eventually. Oh, hey, uh, that connected up our, our space here, so I got uh, Felidzir. That's still in their space, at least. Alright, let me uh, add a sector. Just right there. And let's uh, terraform this tropical world. Into an ocean world. Uh, I can also get rid of these uh, wormhole generators. Luckily, I can disband those. Alright. Uh, I'm going to go through and disband my, um, my newly acquired wormhole stations. Uh, but I'll do that off-camera. Uh, you guys don't need to watch that. And when we return, uh, I will think about who, if anyone, uh, that I want to integrate next. Well, I'm not sure why I... I'm only gaining 4.7 rather than 5 now. Strange. Very strange. I'll have to figure something out there. Anyway... Um, that will be later. I will probably not be integrating either of these guys anytime real soon, because I'm gonna try to milk them for their, um, I suppose I could integrate one of them, uh, because I'm still getting the research agreement with the other one. Uh, but I want to milk that research agreement for all it's worth. Anyway, that will be next time. See you then, everyone.